Okay. So our subject is science. And from our last topic, we have learned about the digestive system. So the digestive system is very important because they or it is the one who breaks down and spread the nutrients to our body. Okay, so we have a part of the or the organs in the digestive system. We have mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and the anus. Okay, so these are the important organs in the digestive system. Okay, so let's proceed to our topic for today, which is about the rocks in nature. So, okay, so for our topic, we have rocks in nature and we're going to start with our vocabulary for today. So our vocabulary number one, we have the word igneous rock. Igneous rocks. And number two, we have sedimentary rocks. Number three, we have metamorphic rocks. Yes. And number four, we have the word magma. Mm -hmm. And number five, we have the word lava. Number six, we have the word cemented. And number seven, we have the word compressed. Okay, so these are our vocabularies for today. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, metamorphic rocks, magma, lava, cemented, and compressed, okay? So from our topic, rocks in nature, we're going to be learning the different types of rocks and how are they being formed, okay? Or how are they being created, okay? And... So let's proceed to our discussion, which is in rocks in nature. Rocks are hard natural materials that form the earth's surface. The, they have fixed shapes and volumes. Different rocks have different things in them. So they have different characteristics and properties. They are useful in many areas of our everyday life, okay? So rocks, these are the things that are hard, that is made from natural materials from the Earth's surface. So anywhere we can see or we can find rocks. So rocks, they come in different shapes, different volumes, different weight. Okay, and rocks are being formed with different minerals or different things. Okay, so we're going to learn that later. Okay, rocks are formed from more than one type of mineral. These minerals are called rock forming minerals. In addition, rocks also have organic matter or the dead living things on. Okay, so Rocks are formed with different minerals, and these minerals are called the rock-forming minerals. Okay, so in addition, rocks also have organic matter or dead living things. Okay, so rocks can be formed by dead living materials or living things like dead animals, dead plants, and many more. Okay. So let's proceed to the different kinds of rocks. Okay, so we have here, geologists group rocks into three types based on how they form. So we have here uh, different types of rocks. So we have the first one, which is igneous rocks can form in two ways. Okay, so igneous rocks have two different types too. Okay, so we have the first one, we have the igneous rocks 
form under the Earth's surface when magma moves up to low temperature areas and slowly cools down. These rocks are called intrusive igneous rocks or plutonic rocks. These have large grains and have hard and are hard because uh, they have many minerals. Some examples are burite, gabbro, and granite. Okay, so the first type of igneous rock is the intrusive igneous rocks. Okay, so how does this form? How do intrusive igneous rocks form? They are formed when magma moves up to low temperature areas and slowly cools down. So this forms when the mags, magma cools down. Okay, so we have an example here. We have the granite. Okay, granite has large grains and rough surface. surface. Okay, so the rocks that we can find from the surface or the earth's surface have also names. Okay, so we have the granite. It has large grains and rough surface. Next is we have the durite. It has a large grains but has finer than granite. Granite, yes. It has large grains but are finer than granite. So this is finer, this is rough. Okay. Gabbro, it has large grains with dark colors. Okay, so these are the difference of this intrusive igneous rock. We have the granite, which is it has a large grains and rough surface. Durite, it has also large grains but are finer than the granite. And gabbro, it has a large grains with dark color. So the color of gabbro is darker than the granite and durite. Okay, so next we have the second type of the igneous rock. Okay, so we have here igneous rocks form on the Earth's surface when lava quickly cools down. These rocks are called extrusive igneous rocks or volcanic rocks. When magma comes up the surface, it is called lava. As lava touches seawater or air, it cools quickly to form rocks with a lot of holes like pumice or smooth rocks with no grains like obsidian. Also, some lava passes through cracks in the ground and cools too from rocks like rhyolite and basalt. Okay, so we have here the second type of igneous rock, which is extrusive igneous rocks, and this forms outside the volcano because the lava that came out from the volcano quickly cools down. So it is called the extrusive igneous rock, while intrusive igneous rock is the magma which is inside the volcano. So it cools down slowly. While extrusive igneous rocks, they are the lava that cools down outside. Okay, so these are the that is the difference of intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks. Okay, so we have here examples of ex extrusive igneous rocks. We have the pumice. Hard has large grains and many holes. Okay, so that is the pumice stone. We have the obsidian, looks like a glass and is shiny. Okay, and basalt, we have hard and has fine grains. Okay, so that's the difference of these three examples of extrusive igneous rocks. Okay, so again, before we proceed, intrusive. Intrusive igneous rocks, these are found inside the volcano, which is uh, the magma that cools down slowly, okay? And extrusive is found outside the volca volcano. So because this is the lava that uh, 
cools down outside the volcano. Okay, next is we have the sedimentary rocks. Okay, sedimentary rocks form when small pieces of rocks and dead living things are compressed and cemented together. Also, they form when other rocks break down and are covered at the bottom of seas or oceans. After a long time, these small rocks are compressed and joined together to form sedimentary rocks. Okay, so sedimentary rocks, they form when small pieces of rocks and dead living things are compressed and cemented together. Okay, so that's how sedimentary rocks being formed. Okay, so small pieces of rocks and the dead living, living things, sorry that are joined together and being cemented together. Okay, so examples of sedimentary rocks, we have the sandstone, shale, limestone, and conglomerate rocks. Okay, so we have the sandstone rock. It is hard. It has rough surface and often has fossils inside. Okay, so this is where we can find some fossils or dead living things okay and shale it has a smooth smooth surface with many thin layers that split easily okay and next is limestone it has a smooth surface and some have fossils inside and conglomerate rocks it has rough surface with large and round grains Okay, so we have here some science facts about shale, sandstone, and limestone are found in many parts of Thailand. Example, sandstone is found in Rataburi, Titaburi, and Kantanaburi. Okay, shale is found in, okay, so shale is found in Lui, Songkla, Saraburi, and Lampang, Thailand. Okay. Limestone is found in Saraburi, Rataburi, Pechaburi, and Kampeng Pet. Okay, so these are some of the places in Thailand where we can find this kind of rocks like shale, sandstone, and limestone. So Thailand have this kind of rocks. Okay, so let's proceed to the third type of rock, which is the metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks form when other rocks get heated and squeezed below the Earth's surface. Sometimes they have the same properties as the old rock and sometimes they form new properties. Metamorphic rocks that form into many parallel thin layers are called foliated metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks that do not form into thin layers are called non-foliated metamorphic rocks. Okay, so metamorphic rocks, these are the rocks that form when other rocks get heated and squeezed below the Earth's surface. So the other rocks there are from the igneous rock and sedimentary rocks. So when, the, when these rocks being heated or pressured, and they are being squeezed together. This forms the metamorphic rocks. Okay, so metamorphic rocks are formed with the use of other rocks. Okay, so examples of metamorphic rocks we have slate, quartzite, marble, and gneiss. Nice. Okay, so slate, it is the fine grained foliated metamorphic rock. It forms from shale and is smooth. Okay, so this is formed by with the sedimentary rock, which is the shale. Okay, quartzite, it is hard, non foliated metamorphic rock. It forms from sandstone. Okay, sandstone is from the sedimentary rock. So it helps form or create this quartzite. Okay, next is marble. It is medium grain non-foliated metamorphic rock. It forms from limestone and is easily 
eroded okay so limestone is we can found we can find it in sedimentary rocks also next is nice it is medium grain foliated metamorphic rocks it forms from granite okay granite is found in the igneous rock which is the from the extrusive igneous rock okay so it helps form the nice okay so these are the types of rocks we have okay so let's just have a quick review before we proceed to our activity so again we have the types of rocks we have igneous rocks and this forms in two ways we have the intrusive igneous rock and extrusive igneous rock and the second type of rocks is sedimentary rocks and the third type is metamorphic rocks okay so let's proceed to this activity on page 155 okay so please open your book on page 155, and we're going to do this activity. Okay, so we have this activity, the science process skills enhancing activity. So we're going to see how rocks form. Okay, how do rocks be informed? So we have here the science process skill modeling, inferring, and interpreting data, and making conclusions. Okay, so we have our objective to compare how igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks are formed. So we're going to compare the three types of rocks. How are they being formed? Okay, number two, to explain the rock cycle by modeling. So we have the problem, do igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rocks form differently so we have the hypothesis igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rocks are formed differently okay what to prepare sources of information example books and the internet tools for modeling and example card paper foam color pencils, glue, and cardboard and boxes. So we're not going to do this one. We will just do the objective number one, which is compare how igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks are formed, okay? So we have here the step-by-step. -step. Okay, we will do this one together. We will not follow this one, okay? So, so our hypothesis is igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks are formed differently. So let's try to see if does this rock really form differently or be formed the same way. Okay, so yes. let's proceed to the next page, which is on page 156. So we're going to record our data. So our... Need to really... Our reference is from our workbook. So how do these rocks form? We have the first one. We have the rock, which is igneous rocks. So first is in 1.1, intrusive igneous rock. So how does intrusive igneous rock be informed? Okay, so like what we have said a while ago, intrusive igneous rocks, this forms from the magma inside the volcano. So we have here intrusive igneous rocks form when magma moves up to low temperature areas and slowly cools down. So that's how intrusive igneous rock form. Okay, so next is in 1.2, which is the extrusive igneous rock. So like from our discussion a while ago, extrusive igneous rocks, they form from the lava that quickly cools down outside the volcano. So extrusive igneous rocks form when the lava cools down quickly. And number two, 
the sedimentary rocks, how do they form? They form when small pieces of rocks and dead living things are compressed and cemented together. Okay, okay so that is the sedimentary rock. Okay, next is the third one. We have the metamorphic rock. So how does metamorphic rocks be formed? Okay, metamorphic rocks form when other rocks are get heated and squeezed below the Earth's surface. Okay, so that's how metamorphic rocks. Okay, so we're going to sum it up from our hypothesis and from the problem that Thus, the igneous sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks form differently. Okay. Therefore, igneous sedimentary and meta metamorphic rocks are all formed differently and have different characteristics. Okay. So that's our conclusion. Okay. So if you are finished here on page 100, oh, 100. 56, we will go back to our activity on 154. Okay, so we have the instruction. Write numbers to match the sentences to the rocks. Okay, so we have here the sentences. Number one, has rough surface and round in shape. Two, has a rough surface and full of holes. Three, have large crystals with a rough and shiny surface. Four, made from limestone. It is hard and has no lines on it. Number five, it has a smooth surface and an animal remain called fossil. Okay, so we're going to write the numbers that matches the picture. So we have here picture number one. What number is it? Picture number one is number one. Okay, why is it number one? Because it's the size, because it's round and it's not full in front of it. Okay, so very good. Yes, it has rough surface and is round shape, okay. but this, this uh, picture uh, is oh. in number two. Okay. It has rough surface and full of holes. Okay. So it has little holes on it. Okay. So this is number two. Yes. Okay. Yes. It can also be number one, but number two is the most closest. Okay. So next picture. What number is not, uh, picture number two? Picture number two is number five. Okay, very good. Picture number two is number five. So this uh, match the picture or the sentence match the picture very well because it has a smooth surface and it has animal remain called the fossil. Okay, very good. So picture number two is number five. Okay, what about picture number three? What do you think is picture number three? What number is it? Number three. Okay, very good. It is number three. It has what? Can you read this sentence number three, please? It has a crystal with a and a rock and Shiny. Shiny surface. Surface. Very good. Yes. Picture number three is in number three. It has large crystals with rough and shiny, shiny surface. Okay. Very good. So that's the answer for picture number two. Picture number one is number two. Picture number two is number five. And picture number three is number three. Okay. So... This ends our activity for today. So is everyone finished? Yes. Okay, so...
You are finished. This ends our science class for today, which is about rocks in nature or the different types of rocks. So we have learned how the rocks being formed. Okay, so, so thank you students for joining teacher today and I hope everyone is in good health and is healthy, okay? So stay healthy, stay at home, and don't go out anywhere, okay? So thank you, thank you for joining teachers. See you next week. Have a nice day. Enjoy your lunch. Bye-bye.